Good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to hold your right arm out. I'm going to push down. Your job is just to resist my force. Ready? And hold. Good. And relax. And hold. And relax. Cool. Yeah. Okay. If you can lift your right foot. Yeah. And your left foot. Make that feel about right. Yep. Good. Okay, right arm out. Now hold. Good. And relax. Okay, stepping off for me. Just lift the right foot up. Great. And down. Good. That's cool. Just stand like that. As even when you can on both feet. Right arm out again. Okay. Now hold. Okay, hold. Good thing I just can't resist that. Yeah. That was up. Yeah. So this would suggest that your body doesn't like just wearing one or body support. Okay? Lift that foot up. So right arm out again for me. And hold. Good. All right. So just getting the baseline again. And hold. Good. And relax. This time we're going to artificially sublux your metatarsal arch. Lift that arch first. That's it. And down. And just lift the right hip. Good. Great. Just putting a reasonable amount of weight on there. So we're dorsiflexing the fifth and first. Plant flexing two, three, and four. Right arm out again for me. And hold. Come on, be strong. And hold. Okay. So your body doesn't like that. No surprise. We hope. And down. Okay. Right arm out again for me. And hold. Good. Back to normal. So this is a way of getting feedback from the body as far as the neurological impact that an orthotic device or a pen and a pencil have on the foot. Yes, we're changing the proprioceptive function or input from the foot, but we're testing muscles that are involved in the gait cycle. The deltoids, which will be involved in arm swing. So they all get effect. You can't influence one part of the body and not have an effect on the entire postural physical frame. 